So guys, I wanted to go ahead and, as I said, start the show with none other what's happening this week uh, in Gears 5. So we're going to go through this list, guys, of everything that is going on in, in Gears 5 this week because uh, there are some things that they are making a few updates, that being the Coalition. So we're making a few updates to Gears 5. So PvP, free-for-all, change number of uh, players from 14 to 8 in ranked and quick play. Team Deathmatch, winning a match is now best of three rounds. And then with King of the Hill, eliminations are now worth one Gears point. So, a couple of changes. Um, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm okay with these changes overall. I think that the Team Deathmatch, winning a match is now best of three rounds. I, I think that's okay. As far as the eliminations, I wish they were still worth two Gears points, but I understand the reasoning behind that. And um, as far as PvE is concerned, in Horde, it's important that the engineer is the most powerful when using fortifications, as building is their primary role. Unfortunately, a small handful of skill cards in the game have been triggering their effects, unintentionally with fortifications causing some non-engineer classes to become much more powerful with fortifications than intended. Because this weakens the role of the engineer, we feel it was important to resolve these issues. We have adjusted the following skill cards to no longer work with fortifications. That's aggressive armor, cold finish, armored shot, the hammer, a serrated edge, and blunt instrument. So these all, these relatively make sense. This is definitely something that I heard a number of complaints on. Um, as far as Horde goes, I don't play a, a lot of Horde, but um, I, certainly, guys, it's, it's definitely something that I had heard from, from different people around the community. Now, Versus event, the eight player free for all. So we're mixing up free for all in a big way. Eight players will now battle against each other on select 5v5 maps. And to make it even more interesting, loadouts are limited to a utility grenade, smokes or flashes, and Nasher. So that's what's really exciting. This is kind of, you know, obviously it's now with eight players, a lot, you know, going to be more intimate as far as, you know, the people that you're going to be going up against, which is a very interesting concept. I'm definitely excited to see what this is going to be like in the Versus playlist. Uh, now featured in Hive, the Ambush. The Ambush is packed with enemies that come at you from unexpected angles. Go slowly as best as you can with the Venom pushing you because you never know when you will trigger enemies as they will come at you from unexpected angles. So, of course, guys, with the with the ambush, I'm definitely excited to see what this is all about. And then as far as with featured horde, Abyss, the Abyss is sticking around for one more week, so get that turret and show them what you got. As far as the weekly store is concerned, guys, looks like we're getting the Locust Grenadier Elite, which is 250 iron or 2,000 gears points. Cosmic full weapon set is 850 iron, and the hammer online mark is 200 iron. Now, I was kind of hoping that we would, it's good that the characters overall are, you know, we're able to use our gears points for that. I wish like for the cosmic full set and, and even for the online mark, for the, the hammer online mark, I wish that we could use our gears points for that as well. But nonetheless, as long as the characters, you're able to use your gears points, uh, that's a big deal. And then of course, guys, the other uh, things that are coming, of course, to the store is workout phase of 1500 iron or 10,000 gears points. Uh, do you even lift bro expression? Uh, the Hot Rod Jack and the Hot Rod Full Weapon Set is also going to be coming. As far as the eSports side, the Chrome Steel Baird is $9.99 USD. Now, for me, guys, uh, when it comes to the eSports side of things, I'm okay with them charging uh, you know, USD for that simply because, or just charging money for it, simply because uh, that goes to the prize pool of the Gears eSports side. So I'm totally cool with that overall. So guys, that is what has been going on and what's happening this week in Gears 5. And so each week, guys, we'll go ahead and we'll go through some of the changes if there's any that are coming to Gears 5 that particular week.